We'll take a look at the updates now for Visualize in SOLIDWORKS. So for those of you who aren't aware, Visualize Standard was released in 2016. It was a download from the customer portal uh, and it was a standalone renderer in addition to PhotoView 360. Now that's slightly changed in 2017, so it is part of the standard installation procedure. You will need a separate license code for the software though. So if you don't have uh, that serial number, please give us a call and we can give that to you. We also have another tool, Visualize Professional, which is available at a separate license cost. So let's take a look in Visualize now at some of the updates. So firstly, when you go through into Visualize, you're faced with a grid style arrangement showing you any of the recent projects that you've been working on. So it's much easier to access anything uh, that you have been doing. We also have access to sample projects and recent SOLIDWORKS documents as well. What I really quite like is the ability to watch tutorials directly within the interface over here on the right hand side. There's also some tips included and some quick access to the What's New documentation, the forum and online help too. So we'll take a look now at how things have changed over in SOLIDWORKS for Visualize. So if we switch over to SOLIDWORKS here, you'll see I've got a defined camera view. I've applied my appearances within PhotoView 360. So I'm pretty much ready to go if I was to use PhotoView 360 to render this. But now, new for 2017, we've also got the ability to turn on the Visualize toolbar within the application. And we've got a number of different options available to us. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is Export Simple. So all I need to do is click the button. It's gonna launch Visualize and create me a new project for the file that I was working on. You'll see that comes straight through into Visualize in the correct orientation. So over on the right hand side, I've got access to appearances, scenes, numerous other things within the system, and I can drag and drop any appearances and drop them onto the model there, and you'll see the color changes. Now the important thing to note here is that the color has changed for multiple components within this assembly. And one of the reasons for that is because we've used the export simple option. So any appearances defined to multiple components are grouped together, uh, therefore, any changes we make in Visualize copy across those multiple components. Now, another thing that's changed in 2017 is the uh, ability to use the SOLIDWORKS controls to navigate around your model. So if you go up to the tools and options here and go to user interface, we now have the ability to use the SOLIDWORKS CAD navigation mode. So it makes things a little bit more familiar across the platforms. So I'm just going to close this project down and we'll go back into SOLIDWORKS and we'll take a look at the export advanced option. So this differs slightly in terms of how it organizes the appearances, but another point to note is that if you have any motion studies included within your SOLIDWORKS assembly like we do here, we can copy these across to visualize if you're using Visualize Professional. So Visualize Standard doesn't include uh, an animation option, but Visualize Professional does. So here I'm just going to say OK, and it's going to create me a new project using the Export Advanced option. So now if I do the same operation, dragging and dropping the appearance, you'll see the appearance grouping is slightly different. It uses individual part components to organize how the appearances are applied. So again here I'm just going to recolor all those objects so we can see that. One of the other main advantages of using the export advanced option is that it's configuration and change aware within SOLIDWORKS. So if I access an exploded view, for example here, I can use the update tool within SOLIDWORKS and go back over to visualize and accept the changes that have been made and you'll see that I now see the exploded view within Visualize with any of the appearance changes that I've made being available to me as well. So a really nice link between the two systems. So just a couple of other sample animations that can be created with Visualize Professional here just so you can see the quality that we can produce.
and a couple of other updates to the Visualize Professional tool as well. So we can now also do cut planes and cut plane animations. So here if you want to cross section into a model whilst animating that can be done. And we can also can control object transparency within the system too. So here you'll see we've got a subtle transparency effect applied within that model. To summarise the updates we've seen, it's now part and parcel of the SOLIDWORKS professional licence. It's included within the installation manager. We've seen a new style home screen, the ability to access context sensitive help. We can use the SOLIDWORKS navigation and shortcut. We have a direct export from SOLIDWORKS. We also have the ability to import animations and animate section views and transparency with Visualize Pro. In addition to SOLIDWORKS Visualize Standard and Visualize Professional, there are also some other products available to you as well. So one is Visualize Boost. This gives us the ability to install an application on other machines in the business to enable us to uh, push renders out to other machines to contribute them. So we can create a network rendering environment. Also, there's something called Visualize Power Boost. So you may have seen on my machine that the rotation uh, within the window was fairly labored. It's because it's using my graphics card to generate the imagery. Here you'll see the same laboring on the left-hand side image, but the right-hand side image is much sharper and cleaner when rotating. So using, using Visualize Power Boost will allow us to access graphics cards from other machines for better real-time rendering speeds. Thank you.